break that. Oh man, no. What's up guys? All right, so today I'm gonna talk about one thing in particular and that is the Tiffin variable ND filter. So say that you got yourself an A7 III, you bought yourself a fast lens like the Sony 85 to 1.8 aperture. I don't know why I said to the 1.8, but listen, you are having a great time with this camera. You're out there shooting slow motion, 4K from a 6K sensor, and then you go outside and you wanna shoot that creamy depth of field and you wanna keep your shutter speed at 150th of a second, but you notice one thing, that image is blown out. So what do you do? You buy yourself one of these. This is a variable ND filter. You probably heard it many times where it's like sunglasses to your lens, right? That's the best way to say it. Shades to the lens. All right, so what does this do? So you wanna keep that creamy depth of field. You screw this baby on, and I keep mine on all the freaking time. In the last video, I was saying that I was up north with the family with the a7 III, and I was capturing slow motion and 4K footage. I wanted to capture that creamy depth of field. Now, if I didn't have this variable ND filter on my lens, there's no way I would have captured, well, I guess I could have increased the shutter speed, but I wanted that natural motion. I wanted to make sure that everything looks cinematic. And in order for you to do that, you have to have a variable ND filter, especially when you have one of these kind of systems. And the difference between a standard and a variable is basically a standard is just a fixed stop. This one is a variable, so you can adjust it just by turning the thread. So if you have a mirrorless camera or a DSLR and you're packing a fast lens like this 1.8, just get yourself one of these. Figure out which lens you use the most if you have many fast lens and they don't have the same thread and just get yourself, like for instance, this one is a 67 millimeter thread and I also have a 72 millimeter thread uh, for my bigger lenses. Now, you don't have to keep buying these for all your lenses if you're on a budget. Just figure out which one you use the most, which was the fastest lens and just use it for that. Uh, however, you should at least have one in your arsenal. If you do get one, do your best to invest in a high quality one especially if you're getting paid for gigs because you will see a difference. This one, I hardly get any, any image quality loss from it. Uh, and that's just from my eyes and the, what I see. It's, I don't see any difference between putting this on and not having it on at all. Uh, so just make sure if you do invest in one, just make sure you invest in one that's actually a good quality or has great reviews to it. So with that said, uh, just make sure you have one of these in your arsenal. You would not regret it. Uh, but besides that, guys, that's all I have. I just want to share that with you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because I have many more videos coming. And besides that, my friends, I will catch you guys in the next video.